Good morning. Welcome to Sketch a Day Live. What's up? It's been a minute. Feels like it's always a minute. Hello, Behancers, Twitchers, YouTubers. What's up? Um, just gonna be hanging, drawing. You know, doing our thing, catching up, seeing how you've been, checking in on the Discord. You know how this goes. Although, looks like Discord locked me out. So. <laughs> <laughs> Give me just a minute here. Anyhow, hope you had a fantastic weekend. I so nor normally I'd I'd go live on Sunday, you know, and uh, do my thing. But just decided to have a chill day yesterday, so <clears throat> got to hang with the kids for a little bit. Um, you know, they're kind of at the age where they they do their own thing as far as like they want to play video games, whatever. So. I uh, hang out with them, but also my son, one of my sons anyways, um, sorry I'm doing like two things at the same time, one of my sons <coughs> likes uh, a couple of anime shows, so we were watching My Hero Academia for a little bit, that's, a, that's an interesting one, um, so yeah. Anyhow, it's a good, good chill day yesterday. Um, okay, looks like my my Discord password is not working. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I can get back in here. <laughs> I was not prepared. Not prepared. Let's see if this works. <laughs> okay, we're good. We are good. Okay, you're not you're not check, checking out my. My password here anyhow um, I'm keeping an eye on both the discord chat and YouTube I guess I should pull up twitch just in case no one usually watches there but the theme last week <clears throat> actually for the last two weeks was in the kitchen that's what we were doing so hold on hold up hold up So we were doing in the kitchen and so we'll take a look at what y'all came up with i'll sketch a couple things on that today and then we'll also kick off our next challenge how about that how about that catch me outside um i always think i'm ready to go and then there's always something okay cool my Twitch stream is up. It is live. We got everything good here. Cool. I'll check in on the chat. See what's up. Hello, Applejack, Slory, Introvert Doodles. What's up? Clement. Hello. <coughs> Sorry, I had a little coughing fit this morning. Um, Bussy is waiting for your light shadow and perspective. <laughs> Plenty of videos on that. Um, Applejack says, the only anime I've seen and liked is Food Wars. Food Wars. I haven't seen that one. Haven't heard of it. So I'll have to look it up. There's some weird stuff out there, though. I'll tell you what. There is some weird stuff. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do the dang thing. I think I gave my good pens to my kids, though. So I may be scrambling for pens in a second here. In any case, we'll just warm up. We'll do the thing, thing that we do. And yes, I do this every time. You might be like, oh, here he goes again, doing those warm up exercises, but I do it every time. So I'm not saying you're saying that, but maybe you are saying that. Maybe you're wondering, why is he drawing lines again? This is boring. Oh my gosh. <coughs> yes, industrial design sketching, that's what I do. I like sketching products, things, robots, the usual. And I'm not entirely settled on the theme for the week, so patrons, if you want to message me on Discord, suggest something, feel free. If you'd like to be a patron, get free guides, brushes after two months, inside scoops, whatnot, hey, elevation. I see you on Behance as well. 
Um, I do not have a 16 gigabyte video card. I don't even know what my video card is on my computer. It's it's enough, whatever it does. Um, but yeah, if you'd like to support, check out patreon.com slash sketchaday. No hyphens on that one. So that's a good place to be if you'd like to support what I'm doing. There we go. Correct link. You can check that out. I promise this week I will be sharing the music from the live streams <clears throat> for patrons and channel members. So I've had a lot of people ask, hey, where can I get that? So I will be giving you access to two links. One will be a SoundCloud link. The other will be a Google Drive if you want to download stuff. I don't really care. But that'll be for patrons exclusively. But yeah, I'm still still making stuff in the background. By stuff, I mean music. No 3D printing today, at least not right now. I have a few things I need to do. Let's get some circles in. So I'll probably do one or two kitchen things. And then we'll move on to our next theme, whatever that's going to be. <laughs> I have a few ideas bouncing around in my head. I'm just not sure what I want them to be just yet. So anyhow, welcome again to the Behancers, the Twitchers, the YouTubers, all the errs. Thanks for being here and hanging out for a bit. Doing some circles. Let's do some ellipses now. I'm just going to use the same sheet of paper. Let's be efficient today. So yeah, I hope you're doing well, staying healthy, happy, all the good things. May there be good in your day today, whatever that looks like for you individually. All right. Also, let me know if the music's too loud or whatever. Salem has a question, or Salem. Hello, Salem on Behance. What is your question? I'm trying to pay attention to all the chats. Say hi to everyone, but you know, it can be a lot. So if I miss something, fear not, I'll get back to it. Okay, I so said I was gonna do some kitchen stuff today because that was the theme for last week. And we'll also take a look at the Discord in a minute. I've got a little bit of a sniffle as well, so pardon pardon my sniffly interjections from time to time. Alright, let's see. Of course, I feel like my brain is all over. I was just going to do a toaster to start. Toasters are fun because they're like... I think anyway, it's highly reflective. You can do st fun stuff with reflective surfaces. Which is what I want to do. And I think I'm going to break out. I think I'll I think I'll use my airbrush, my marker airbrush in a minute. So it'll be fun. We'll do some fun stuff here. Alright, so general shape, and now we need a lifter. So sketch that in. 
Whatever shape you want. Also need some way to... <clears throat> I'm trying to decide. Okay, we need a way to remove crumbs. So I've got a little tray there. Also, I don't know why this is all the way over on the right side of the page, but we'll roll with it. I just wasn't paying attention to my my placement. Not too closely anyways. But I am going to be going for a chrome or shiny look on this toaster. I wouldn't say necessarily Art Deco or anything like that. We're just gonna go for a shinier look. Do I remember the movie Battery is not included? Yes, I do actually. I don't remember it very well. I used to be terrified of aliens as a kid and even though the aliens are these cute little robots in that, that movie, I still, like, I watched Fire in the Sky as a kid, for example. I feel like, I feel like the 80s and 90s, like, parents just, they were just like, hey, hey, kids, do whatever you want. And then, you know, you'd, you'd just be gone for hours or you're watching some weird stuff on TV. And then now, like, being a parent, I feel like a lot of my friends, people I know, because of that, uh, those experiences, dare I say trauma, because of all that, we are like protective parents. I mean, I'm a protective parent. I don't know about, about you guys, but it's really interesting. Okay, I'm not being very careful with these ridges, but that's okay. These are not the droids you're looking for. Like, I remember watching part of, not the whole thing, but part of this movie called Beastmaster. And then I watched it as an adult, and I was like, this is not okay for a kid to watch. <laughs> even, the, even the Goonies, like, in some ways. It's like, eh, I probably shouldn't have been watching that one. Probably shouldn't have been watching that one. Oh man, but the, the, the thing that would keep me up at night, <clears throat> the, the the show whatever that would keep me up was um, Scooby-Doo. I know, it sounds crazy. Scooby-Doo, really? Scooby-Dooby-Doo, where are you? You mean, or however it goes. We need some help from you now. <laughs> Anyhow, there was this one Scooby-Doo episode with the electric man. Do you remember the electric man? It was like this guy in this electrified suit and he just looks so terrifying. <laughs> that tormented me for a long time. The Electric Man and Scooby-Doo. So terrifying. Okay, I'm breaking out my little airbrush. It's covered in dust because I haven't used it in a while. So pardon me for a sec. Sorry, just setting up this airbrush. Give me one second here. <clears throat> okay, we're back. I redid my studio a little a little while back to rearrange a bunch of stuff. <clears throat> And uh, 
chucked my airbrushing and airbrush thingy in the corner so i had to go get that um how do you make a living out of sketching that's a fantastic question i'm still fi i'm still trying to figure that one out i'm kind of kidding by the way i'll answer your question um i say kind of kidding because sketching isn't the only thing i do i don't think i'd even want it to be the only thing i do from being totally honest with you i enjoy it but there's a few ways it's a lot of different paths you can take i'm a product designer for example so i do a lot of products for companies either by being subcontracted by other people or um, working directly with <clears throat> with companies to come up with designs and that's not to say sketching is all that there is to design or vice versa is vice versa work in this instance anyhow um that's not to say that's all it is like if you can draw you can design that's not the case um however it's a good skill to have it's a good way to communicate to show your ideas to bring them to life to bring them into a place that someone can discuss them so that's one way you could become a product designer you could become an illustrator all right, so if you really want to push your skills, your abilities, and so forth, you can do custom illustrations for people, right? Um, you can do that either working for someone or with someone as, a, as an independent creative. And as an illustrator, there's editorial illustration, there's comic book illustration. Um, there's even illustration now that you see in a corporate setting where a company will hire illustrators to come up with a specific look for um, characters that might appear in their marketing material, right? So this is a Copic Air adapter. It means that I can plug a marker into this here doohickey it actually works with some other brands of markers too and i am going to do i'm going to do a couple couple test sprays here just want to make sure you're not you want to make sure you, you have a juicy enough marker that you're using for one um, which clearly i don't right there <clears throat> but you want to make sure the colors also work uh, okay, so illustration, product design, you can do uh, portraiture if you wanted to. You could move more into fine art. You could do children's book illustration. Lots of different things you can do. So you can get creative. All right, I don't know why my airbrush isn't working super well so let's try a different marker here let's try this cool gray four do you believe anyone can learn to draw i say if i can learn to draw you can learn to draw um coming from coming from being a math major Okay, I think this will work, but I'm going to have to refresh my marker. So, so hang with me for a minute. Let's hang out. Um, yeah, anyone can learn to do it. I was a math major. I, I mean, I would always doodle and stuff, but I, I, I wouldn't say I was great at it or anything. Why am I opening this? I probably shouldn't, but... Um, I don't really believe in natural talent as far as like, oh, 
okay maybe there's maybe there's aptitude or uh an ability to comprehend processes regarding a certain thing okay i'll give you that <clears throat> but i don't like the mindset just because not saying you're saying this um, i try to avoid it just because it negates any effort someone may have put into learning to be good at something which i think is important to recognize too so yeah i think anyone can draw um or as i said if i can do it i think i think y'all can do it because i was not very good at all Lori says goonies was awesome i know but it's like i just feel like those 80s movies were were a bit much for kids just saying they were just a bit much why's my paper towel all the way Like I should not be doing this without paper towel to clean up and there I am. Okay. So now I should be able to put this marker in. I should probably just do this with the 30% gray. Maybe we'll turn the ASMR or what is it? ASMR? ASMR. It's the whole time. Just kidding. Um but yeah, the eighties and nineties were the best for TV or movies. Um I don't know, man some like traumatic stuff in there the 80s and 90s alright I think I may have messed this up Please, no ASMR. <laughs> uh, don't worry, I'm not into it myself. One of my friends is, though. He's always watching uh, ASMR videos of people eating, you know, smacking their lips and stuff. And, like, I don't know how you can handle that, man. It's like, what is going on here? Okay, I'm getting discouraged because... My airbrush. I wanted to show you guys how cool this thing is. I just haven't used it in a while, and I think it's like... So, one more ink refill. We'll try this one more time, and then we'll go. You get to watch me fumble around with, with my inks. But again, this is why I like Copic markers, because they are versatile. I can uh, refill them. I can use them in my airbrush thing, or just use them normally. Let's see here. 10,000 hour rule. Yeah, that I think that that came in the book. Mm. Shoot. Outliers, I think. By... It's not Ezra Klein. I forget. Anyhow, I'm terrible with names. But the book Outliers talks about that idea of, you know, how, how many hours... Practicing something does it take to achieve mastery? About 10,000 hours, which, you know, you can do the math on that however you want. But if you practice 40 hours a week and you were just like, that's literally all you were doing. Which doesn't leave a lot of room for work or other things if you think about it. But let's say you were practicing for 40 hours a week. 52 weeks of the year, we can do easy math and say 50, Malcolm Gladwell, yes, thank you, Joseph. Um, if you want to do easy math, that's 2,000, right? Yeah, 2,000 hours <clears throat> a year. It would take you about five years to master something. Now, realistically, if you're doing it part-time, okay, you know, not every every hour of daylight, but maybe after work, four hours a day, 10 years. And if you're like not really committed and you're doing it in, you know, two hour increments, 
That's only going to be about 100 hours. Oh, wait. Yeah. If you're doing in two hour increments, so 14, what was that beef? I'm doing, I'm doing live math, which never ends well, but two hours a day. I think my math is off. 40 hours a week. Oh, that's right. So if you drop to 10 hours a week, then you're looking at 500 hours a year, which means that it will take you 20 years to get really good at something. So that's a really good uh, reference there, Lori. And thanks, Joseph, for the clarification on the person. But yeah, it takes a lot of effort and time. So when I say sketch every day, I mean sketch every day if you want to be better. And I should take my own advice. You know, I, I still to this day struggle drawing people. And I keep saying, oh, I'll just I'll get to it. I'll get to it. And then I haven't done it. And so... Okay, I'm getting a little bit... I think I need to up the pressure or something. Hold up. Okay, that's a lot better. <clears throat> Applejack's is still on her streak. Nice. Okay, so what was I doing messing around with this thing? I'm trying to turn my marker into an airbrush so I can do some chrome, chromy, chromy stuff here. All right, chromy stuff's interesting. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll do the black stuff first, all the reflections. Sometimes that can be fun. Um, and since I don't want to go too dark, I will use... Let's use this cool gray seven to start. So with Chrome, you want to think about reflections in your environment. Okay, what might be reflecting into the object, particularly on things like corners or across a face. You know, however you want to do it. And also with markers, you want to work light until it's right. I don't know why the other side of that marker was so dry, but, or light, but here we go. <laughs> uh, actually, I think I put the wrong ink on this side because this is cool gray seven, but it does not look like cool gray seven. Either way, I know I need some new markers anyhow. You know, getting older is weird. Someone that taught me a lot about um, using markers and reflections, they passed away. I didn't know they passed away until someone else had posted that they passed away. And I was like, oh, Doug taught me too. So there's a designer, um, formerly from Honda who passed away, not from Honda, but worked at Honda. Um, anyhow, he passed away. That was, well, I wouldn't say it was hard. It was just sobering, like, oh, wow. You know, these people are passing. It's kind of a weird, weird, weird experience in life. Um, but you know, life's short. Just gotta make the best of it, whatever that looks like. For you. So what's happening here is you have two different surfaces. They're, they're two different directions. There might be um, some sort of surface, like a the, the, the surface that the object's sitting on. In this case, something out here might be darker. That's reflecting back. And then we have this light area. If this were, say, an internal environment, like inside a house or something, you're going to get other reflections and artifacts coming into play as well something to think about i kind of like that this is drying out actually 
And then what you'll get on these edges and stuff is a little bit of gradient kind of happening, right? We're just going chill and slow today. Hello, Bliss. That pleasant hum in the background is my, my airbrush. I'm just doing a little brave little toaster today. See, when I do a toaster, that's the movie I think of. The Brave Little Toaster. That was my jam as a kid. I watched that movie so many times. The Brave Little Toaster. Is this one drying out too? Good grief. Good grief. Trying to find a marker. I was going to show you all. Um... Oh, no, it's not that one. I have a marker in here that's so old. The barrel of it is like, the plastic is yellowing on it. But I was gonna try and get it just to show you that if you take care of your markers, they can last a long time. Cause I had that, I've, I had that marker in college. Anyhow, as I was saying, it's just a weird experience to have these people that, you know, you may have interacted with at some point, and I don't know, just the imper the whole impermanence of life thing, it's a sobering thought. For some people, they've already, you know, they're in a place where they accept it all, and they're good to go. I have a lot of friends like that. Like, yeah. None of that stuff bothers me. I'm like, cool. But it's a it's it's an it's it's an interesting experience, is what I'll say. I'm gonna texture this and have it be a little different material here. And I'm cheating on my shading on these little ridges. Totally cheating. Just trying to slightly alternate, but not being super precise. Now I can do some cool stuff here. Do I even like this green color? You can do some cool stuff. So like if the background um, is green, for example. I'll just shade this in. I don't know why you would put a green background on a poster sketch, but let's just say. Let's just say we shade this in. I'll kind of do a texture shade here. An outdoor toaster. Normally, I would just do strokes like this, but we'll blend a little bit. All right. So the cool thing we can do is introduce a little bit of color um, into the toaster. And it's, it's cheating in the sense that it wouldn't look exactly like this, right? based on the position of the, the background, but it's a nice little touch to say this is reflective in some way. Happy Monday to you too, Bliss, and everyone else. But yeah, I, I like career questions. So if you have any career questions, let me know. Right now I'm a uh, independent designer, so meaning I, I freelance and Sometimes work with clients directly. I don't have my own business per se, besides myself. <laughs> so that's what I do, and I make it work. All right, let's see if we can do this now. So, I'm trying to remember which gray I had. This full gray four wasn't working for some reason. But let's try it again. I know you can flip the marker and then it does like some crazy stuff with the airbrush, like extra spattle, spatter, but I don't want to do that. See, that's kind of working now.
How did I get started being an independent designer? Asks Bliss. Um, so my story goes way back. I, in 2009, was it 2009? When did the financial crisis happen? Compressor is being weird. 2008, yeah. So in 2008, I got let go from a job that I was at. You know, it was kind of my dream job coming out of college. And at that point, decided with a friend of mine, we were like, let's just start our own design studio. So I was working in San Francisco. And so, being the young, enterprising designers we were, started a design studio called Studio T Minus. So, we did that for five years or so. And I learned a lot in that time. You learn a lot real fast. Tell you what. So, you know, when you have a young uh, family, two young families, really, because he had a uh, wife and kids as well. Um, you you get you're you're just willing to do a lot to make it work no matter what you do so we would we would do a lot we would pound the pavement um like actually go knock on doors to see if people wanted design work and stuff not my not the high point of my career by any means but you know sometimes you got to do what's necessary to make things work for you and that's what we did. So, another dry mark. Okay, I'm gonna put all the dry markers to the side. I need to have like a a marker rejuvenation session. That's really what I need. Anyhow, so. So learned a lot during that time. And so fast forward to 2019, I was working at a corporate job and decided, you know what? I'm just gonna do my own thing. Well, by that point, if you've had enough experience um, working with people, you likely have contacts that you can draw on at that point again. And you know, I when I when I quit, I didn't know how things were gonna go. Admittedly, I just was like, "Ah, screw this, I'm done." So I left, and um, I took a month off and decided I'm just gonna focus on me. You know, hair flip and all. And so I did, and I would I would go get coffee every day and just you know, create stuff or do whatever I wanted for a month. I gave myself a month. I had enough savings and I tried to think about what, is, what do I want to do? And I kept coming back to, I just want to create stuff. I didn't have a concrete plan and that's okay. You don't have to have a concrete like, okay, step one is this, step two is that. I just went for it. And in that... <clears throat> willingness i'm not super happy with this spot here for a couple of reasons but in that um process and hopefully my airbrush works now and it's almost like being in the right mindset sometimes presents opportunities i don't want to say manifesting because i don't necessarily believe in that but being in the right place the right mindset can help you and, and being visible so being visible and being in the right mindset can help you find work so all of a sudden, I just started getting busy. Things started happening. 
whatever I planned on having happen didn't happen. And that is to say, I had hoped that all I all I would have to do is have a good YouTube and that would be it. But no. That's not how it works. Okay, let me check the pressure here. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. Finally! Anyhow, so being in the right mindset, being in the right place, being visible, putting your stuff out there. Um, it sounds magical, but that's literally what I did. is driving me crazy oh that actually worked all right so now i can use the airbrush to get that gradient i want in the spots i want anyhow so <laughs> having the right mindset and Learning to, learning to say yes to the right things and no to the right things also made a big difference, big impact in, you know, getting the right projects, making sure, making sure you have a portfolio. Which I'm terrible at. Don't even look at my portfolio. Because you can't see it. Ha! I mean, I have some stuff on Behance, but um, I'm being silly now. So, yeah, I think just putting yourself out there, being in the right mindset, saying yes to the right things and no to the, the wrong things or whatever can totally help. Um, let's see. Joseph is asking... If I have a lot of overspray, you know, I found it depends on the marker. And in this case, no. Um, and some of it's technique as well. I will say. So yeah, some of it's technique. If you're worried about overspray, though, you can get a uh, frisket. It's called. I'm trying to decide top surface. Yeah, let's go white. So yeah, you can get this stuff called frisket and use that to mask. Mask your drawing works pretty well. Your portfolio is the blueprint. Yeah, I guess so. Um, so yeah, nothing, nothing I thought would happen has happened in the, you know, I guess it's been two, a little over two years now. Like nothing went according to plan. I was like, yeah, my YouTube's gonna blow up. I'll be fine. Nope. And then I was like, teaching stuff, that'll be it. Nope. I mean, I still teach, but there's there's no, I think and maybe that's just like the curse or the path of the creator in the sense that you you have to be versatile if you're going to be independent and be willing to do what it takes because a lot of times not just sometimes a lot of times things don't go according 
to plan. So yeah, I don't know what the future holds. I don't know from day to day. I don't have a set anything, which maybe that sounds crazy to some people. I used to, you know, if, if I think about the, my younger self, I used to be the type of person that I had to know how everything was going to go to feel okay. And I've just, I've just learned to kind of let that go and just be. And that's been, it's been a good place for me to be mentally and um, existentially just open to whatever possibility, good or bad. Um, Cause it's all, it's all just a moment for me. And I'm not trying to be flippant or patronize, patronizing or anything like that, but that's just what my experience has been. So believe in yourself, stay positive, stay open. Um, I had another thought today, and I don't know that it's true per se, you know, because what, what is true anyways? Here's, here's the toaster at an angle, so you can kind of see the contrast I'm dealing with, by the way. All right, so that's how it looks. You see the difference? Boom, washed out. Boom, contrast. Can I show the airbrush? Yes, I will show the airbrush in just a second. Um, that was from Cheryl. Hey, Cheryl. So my thought that I had was the day you decide you've learned enough is the day you start to die. Boom. Maybe a bit macabre, dark of a thought, but it just kind of hit me. I was like, oh, man. You know, if you're if you're not willing to learn something, whatever that thing is, it might be, you know, in my case, I'm learning to make music right now. I want to learn to sew as well this year. If you're not, if you're not maintaining curiosity in your life, probably the beginning of, of where we, we stop, you know, I'm not to that point and I don't ever want to be to that point, but Maybe it is a point that we all get to. Um, and related to the earlier question of, like, becoming an independent creator, creator and all that, I, I just love learning. I'm not, I'm not a natural. What I would say, I know some of some of you, especially those who know me, are going to be like, whatever, Spencer. <laughs> but I'm not a natural in anything I do. I'm not like I didn't just pick up a pen and one day was like, oh, hey, you're good at drawing or pick up a power tool and was like, oh, hey, you're good at this. It's like you have to work at things. You have to. You have to put in the effort. In my case, I think my my skill, my ability, I've said this before, is actually learning how things work and learning how to do the things that work. So. That's the way I see my ability and my skill. Um, and truth be told, I doubt myself a lot, like many creators, creative people do. I'm trying not to use the word creator as much. It's a word that's been co-opted. Anyhow, I try to just always be learning. ABL, always be learning, be learning something. Some hint of a reflection there. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Latrice? Frisket smells funky. That's true. It's basically like it's liquid rubber. That's cool you've used it, introvert doodles. Um, thank you, Christopher. Let's do another kitchen gadget. I'll probably do let's see what should i do what's a good kitchen gadget something something shiny an ice cream scoop what do ice cream scoops look like again are they like are they like this i don't remember i'm thinking of some like egg shape though and then some like some handle what I'm thinking of anyways. Right? 
right? They're kind of like that. I guess depending on the brand. Maybe a little less pronounced on the scoop portion here. When I say pronounced, I mean less of a return is, is what I'm saying. Maybe something like that. I don't remember. I guess I should have looked it up. Looked up an ice cream scoop. <clears throat> oh, Cheryl had a question. Um, how am I using the marker with airbrush? Here we go. So I have this thing. This is a Copic marker air adapter is what it's called. And uh, I hooked that up to a little air compressor that I have on my floor. And that's how I do it. You like shove the marker in, push the button, and it uh, does its thing. Um, let's see. Okay, cool. I think they look something like that, right? <laughs> Ice cream scoop. Ice cream scoop. Images. Yeah, actually, not, not too far off there. Not too far off. So, memory has served me well today. <clears throat> All right. Do another shiny bit and then we'll take a look at the discord i'll probably just post the um topic in the discord whatever we're doing this week because i i honestly don't know right now what i want to do but patrons if you have anything that you're interested in definitely let me know okay so this is always interesting it's like you have a surface on the inside how do i do the reflections because this surface will reflect this surface which will reflect the reflection of that surface back into that surface right um plus we have the light source above with which to contend so what i'll do is we'll just go dark here and whatever is happening on the inside reflection on reflection i can add a few um artifacts in this area leave this white or at the very most have like a lighter band and then that now becomes like a highlight spot on the surface so in doing this i'm thinking of you know how would i shade how would i shade something that's similar to that right if i have a sphere what I'm dealing with is shadow core right there, some sort of highlight related to my light source, right? And not, I mean, shadow core, if it's, if it's, uh, if it's reflective, but not polished, if it's polished and you got something on a surface, you'll end up with something that looks like this happening. So it's a little bit different, but I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, it's all good. Just go to sketchaday.com slash videos and you'll see um, you'll see examples of that. All right. In fact, if you're if you're in doubt too, I just want to show you what I like to do. When in doubt, Google it out. Just kidding, that's not how it goes. But you can always Google stuff and, you know, see some examples of lighting. So I didn't look at this as I was thinking about the reflections, but I just want to explain to you 
um, that yeah you can look at some of this stuff so here's an example of one right here you can see that dark spot and the light above it reflecting in so that's kind of what i was thinking of um with that ice cream scoop so there you go what about jewelry or jewels that's a good one that's a good one it's a good one post up in the in the in the discord if you have ideas and i will i'll pick something and we'll post about it And then I'll go through the Discord in a sec here. Let's see what y'all have been up to. So Cheryl, hopefully this answers your question. I'm going to airbrush a little bit again here. I think I inadvertently closed my chap, my my chat. Yeah, it's it's kind of a it's kind of an, an unnecessary accessory in a lot of ways. Um, like we don't really need to use an airbrush. I just use my finger as a mask. Because of things like digital sketching nowadays, we don't really have to use all this airbrush stuff and frisk it and all of that. But um, it's still fun. It's still fun for me to play with. So so yeah. Something like that, and then get a little darker on the inside. Hello, Christopher Fernandez Art, a newbie from the Philippines. How to grow a channel. I am still trying to figure that out myself, so if you figure it out, you let me know. And I will just copy what you do, because none of it makes sense to me anymore. So I just do... I just do what I want to do. That's that's the simple answer. Like literally I've tried I've tried a lot of do what you love and the rest will happen, but I have not been so fortunate. Also dry. I'm going to put this to the side as part of my marker maintenance. Marker maintenance Mondays. How would you add something that was indented to the, to the surface like a logo? Oh, yeah. That's a great idea. I'll do it here. Um, so Sketch A Day Live, thanks again for, for joining. I'm doing... At least the theme this week was in the kitchen. I swear this marker is darker than it should be. But... Maybe I just need... I need to go to the art store. It's been a while. Prakar, where am I from? I'm from Utah. I don't. I don't just. You. You can't just hit me with. Please say my name, and you know I'm gonna like say your name over and over, on the show. It doesn't work like that. But thank you for being on the show. It's good to have you here. If you have a specific question, though, feel free to ask. All right. Um, I just want this to be a matte surface. So I'm just creating a blend here, which is why I say I think this color is darker than it should be. Yeah, because this is a cool gray six. And then... Yeah, this is seven here. So whatever that color is, it's a little bit darker than it should be. In fact, I should just tag this marker before I forget. Just 
putting a little scribble on that so I know it's it's a little bit darker because I'm not sure what's going on. I probably it's, well, it's probably one of those situations where you refill your marker and you put the wrong pigment into the marker. What do I think about Indian artists? Um, I don't have any opinion about Indian artists, so I don't have any opinion about any artist of any specific nationality or ethnicity. So. Thanks, Latrice. <laughs> Tree says, let's get those likes up. I appreciate you. Sure appreciate you. All right, so Lori had a question. How do I how do we put a logo in on something? Um I don't know what to to call this scoop, but let's say let's say it's an OXO OXO branded scoop. In fact, let me look up their logo. You know OXO, the brand OXO. So it's like, oh. All right, let's, so let's say there's some OXO branded stuff going on here. I probably should have done this in pencil, but we'll roll with it. Now, they don't usually do, from what I can tell anyways, they don't usually do colors on their, like, handles and stuff. It's usually all, uh, you know, black, silver, rounded shapes, whatnot. So I'm going to cheat here. And we're going to imagine. Let's play pretend. Welcome to the land of make-believe. Um, Cheryl says, I'm new to Discord. It's an easy way to understand how it all works. I just found a weekly sketch, but there's so many things to look through. Um, so what I usually do, Cheryl, is I will announce the topic and then pin the message that describes. So it's kind of like Slack, but also a bit like, hmm, how would I describe Discord. It's the closest to Slack if you've used Slack. Um, but with some features that make it a bit more unique or tailored to streaming and community stuff. All right, so I'm getting some red in here now. So just, just keep an eye out for messages, basically. Um, and the the topic just changes weekly, except for last week it was two weeks. Um, but I'll try and change the topic weekly, and then... Where's my red 29? Oh, this one looks like another dry... Dry marker, but maybe not. So keep an eye out for that and um, just check that channel and the topic that's pinned. I'm speaking in the abstract, so maybe I'll just show you guys. Um, let's see, Discord, full screen, full screen, share. Okay, here's the Discord. I guess we can we can take a little moment to appreciate the work that's been submitted. So the, ch the challenge last week was in the kitchen. We had um, one week where... Felix, one of our patrons, shout out to Felix, um, did some work, but we didn't have any more submissions. So I was like, okay, let's do another week. Here's a message, Cheryl. We're doing in the kitchen this week. So use your imagination. Could be anything. Um, and I called out Lori. Could even be fashion in the kitchen, right? So <clears throat> you just submit in here. If you want, if, if you want feedback, you can ask questions too. Um, I'm not laughing at Applejack's notes. <laughs> But she posted a few sketches, which is awesome. You know, it doesn't have to be like your your magnum opus in your life or your your best work ever. But the idea is just to give you some topics and ideas or things that you could draw thematically. If you missed out on the pin message, I'll show you where to find that. Here's Big Rod with some sketches. Looks like some appliances here. Nice work. Very energetic line work. I will say very energetic um 
or like this is really cool uh, trying to understand geometry even if it's straight lines like you can learn a lot of stuff here so mad props on this piece this is really cool to see breaking things down to understand and then when you understand you can just draw so again nice energy to the lines and line work and that's about it Applejack's is suggesting jewelry or jewels for the next challenge so um that one's that one's actually pretty cool so here if i tap at the top pinned messages you'll see a history of all the topics that have been pinned but the most recent message is the topic so in the kitchen this week all right so that's kind of how discord works and then i will take a look on usually it's on friday fan friday but again couldn't do it last friday and then i was just burned out sunday wanted to hang with the kids so did that all right uh, marker prices um markers vary it depends on where you buy them what you're doing sometimes they can be two two dollars sometimes they can be uh eight or ten dollars introvert doodles great question can you tell us about a product you helped design that you're really proud of um i'll have to think about that one I would say for me, <clears throat> one of the things I'm most proud of that I've designed was my house. Partly because I did all the work on it and a lot of the work I should say. And yeah, it's not your typical product. If you want to force me to say a specific product, I can. <clears throat> one of the most impactful products I designed for my career was um, this product called a Space Monkey. And it was a distributed data storage device that I designed um, back when I had my business. We had someone, actually it was a funny story because this person contacted us and I thought this has to be a joke, like what? <laughs> they wanted me to do it for free at first and I was like, no, we're not gonna do design for free. I don't even know how they found me, I need to, I think they may have found us through like YouTube or something. I don't remember. In any case, um, that product is impactful. And I was proud of it because we were able to um, guide the process along the way for a lot of it. It was one of our bigger um, clients at the time. And it was a cool opportunity to show that we knew what we were doing. Because one of the things that would happen <clears throat> is being in a place, there it is without the contrast or, or without the, the light so you can kind of see. We're about halfway done here. Um, one of the cool things, or not cool things, one of the, the realities of that situation is you're, you're constantly having to prove yourself that you know what you're doing and you can deliver, um, you know, finished designs and all that stuff. All right, if you're new here, by the way, you can always use this link and this would probably answer a lot of your questions about materials I'm using or things like that. You can go to that website and it'll answer all your questions. Uh, of course, I'm trying to find my white pencil and I know I'm not going to be able to find it in reasonable time, but I'm still going to try. And I'll show you why I need the white pencil in a minute here. Okay, I don't have a white pencil, but I'm so fed up with not being able to find white pencils that I'm gonna go to the art store after this. So here's an explanation of what I'm gonna do here, Lori. Um, I know this took forever for me to get to this point, but I 
promise it'll be worth it. So let's let's draw up two examples from the side view. So if I'm looking at this logo, right, and what's actually happening is one of two things. The first, the letter O, for example, and this is super exaggerated. Okay, if it's I forget the term debossed, embossed, whatever. If it's sticking out and light is passing these edges of where it's sticking out. So here's the letter O, right? This is like a weird false perspective, but I'm doing this just to show you. What I'll get is shadow under the protrusion here, and I'll get shadow here, okay? And let's do this in a different color. I already have green out, so I'll just show you. And then the top surface will be light, okay? So that's the first scenario. The second is if the O actually, uh, let's see, like this. So if we have some sort of protrusion here, light's gonna pass this edge, like so, and this edge, All right? And I'm gonna have highlight, and highlight, all right? Super confusing, but the simple way to think about it is we'll just do, I'm gonna go ahead and do um, this version where the letters are sticking out. So if the letters are sticking out, I'm gonna have dark spots away from my light source. And this red might be not dark enough. So let me go. Let me see if I can grab a different. Is this the one I was just using? Might be. Okay, so we're gonna get a little bit of shadow on the far side. Right, like so. And you can you can see this happening in real life if you just pay attention to stuff, right? <laughs> So I'm gonna get a little bit of dark right here. Let me rotate this so you can see a little bit better. All right, so there it is all washed out, but if you get a little bit of dark. Let me zoom in so you can hopefully see a little bit better. And if I can't go dark enough, sometimes I'll just grab like a pencil in that color family um, even if it's not in the color family, it could be like a dark brown or purple or something like that. Um, something to visually enhance the contrast. Um, I think I forgot to answer Introvert Doodle's question in its entirety, but, um, yeah, so this, the Space Monkey was impactful. One of my favorite products that I did, um, that kind of changed the trajectory of my career significantly if I were to think about that one product. And then the house I designed, I was just proud of the fact that I actually did that. It's like, cool, you did that. It felt really good. And so on the top surfaces now of these letters, I'm just going to introduce a little bit of white, right? Thinking about where my light is coming from. So the inside of the O, for example, here would catch some light. This little edge on the X and the inside of this O, like so. Since the surface is rounding, if you wanna you know, lighten things up a little bit, we can do that. This is a 10% gray pencil. It's not quite a white pencil, but it works okay. All right, so I can do something like that. And now if I want to make it pop even more, take a white pen and just catch some of those highlights. Catch some of those highlights like so. You know, if you want to texturize the handle, we can do that with some stippling. For example, and I'll stipple in both colors. 
but it's a really great way to kind of make things pop. And I, I do use the white pencil here as well on the chrome. All right, that's gonna help. Help things pop a bit. Let's get our shadow under here. You can you can generally tell where your light source is in a well-constructed drawing because things like your shadows um, will kind of point, well, not kind of, will, will point in the right direction um, and be consistent with each other as opposed to conflicting with each other. So everything you do should layer to help everything else make sense. All right, so Apple Jacks had an idea for the next week's challenge, which is jewelry. So I think I'll do that. Jewelry. All right, it could be anything. could be rings, watches. I don't know. I guess for, for Lori, that's part of fashion, right? So that, that should be interesting. Do you do a lot of jewelry stuff ever? Um, if you have no idea who I'm talking about, Lori's one of our patrons, Apple Jacks as well. So part of being a patron means you get to help pick those topics, but also you get perks as well. Some behind the scenes stuff from time to time. I post the sketches on the patron as well. And you get free guides. If you don't know what the guides are, they are kind of like, think of them like mini books talk about different topics sketch related so I have a so there it is without the, the glare um, I have a digital sketching guide as well as a marker sketching guide Cheryl has a question which is have I used a Prismacolor colorless blender with markers no I don't use I don't use the blender markers I've tried them I just don't like them Let's mix in some black here. Oh, cool. So my jewelry of choice is going to be a watch because <laughs> that's that's just what I want to do. I did design, when I got married years ago, I did design the ring. That was fun. Did it in 3D and sent it out and they CNC cut it and did the whole wax investment cast and made the whole thing so shout out to scott james jewelers for the ring i no longer use or need <laughs> um but in in all seriousness um that was a fun project so appreciate the idea and so cheryl what i'll do is now that we have a topic picked i will post about it and pin it in the discord so you'll see it there all right so that's kind of how i do it introvert doodles i should have given you an answer like my greatest product i ever did was my children oh and everyone would go oh when you get married oh man It'll get me started on that topic. <laughs> yes, I'm salty and jaded, okay? Yes, I am. Um, who is my inspiration? You are. You all are. I stole a pen from the bank. I cried during a pot of boy. I, pr I'm, I keep struggling with this part of the drawing because there needs to be a little more contrast between this kind of edge here and this face. So sometimes you can take like a pencil, in this case, it's just a Prismacolor pencil laid flat and you can kind of just shade over the marker. It works particularly well if you have a, uh, you know, gray marker, gray area, just to give myself the contrast I need to show, as you can see here, that there's a surface with a transition happening. All right. So sometimes I do. Okay, so we did our toaster. We have a little ice cream scoop here. 
Uh, you don't have to have Discord open all the time, Cheryl. Um, that's just it's a it's a place where I can't be around all the time because I have a life to live. But it's a community of people. Hey, track star. Um, it's a community of people who share common interests, and so if you have questions, you can ask them questions, and and so it goes. All right, um, and that's just sketchaday.com/discord. I'll share the link here. Are you are you like me, one of those people who like as soon as I wake up, I'm thinking about lunch. <laughs> I don't usually eat breakfast, but. And no, I'm not punishing myself. I just, I'm not like hungry, hungry for breakfast in the morning, but I do look forward to lunch. What are you, what are y'all having for lunch today? What's your plan? All right. So the weekly sketch challenge this week, the topic selected was jewelry. So we're going to do jewelry and that could be anything from rings to watches. could be earrings, could be uh face jewelry body jewelry um <laughs> sorry i was thinking about the context for some of these things you don't have to show context you can just show the artifact the item or do whatever you want so um that's going to be the topic for today hello is, is it so chill so teal so chilled hello Thanks, Lollipop Strawberry. Ooh, Bliss is having barbecue wing or wings and barbecue chicken, pulled chicken for brown. Oh, man. That sounds awesome. Track stars on dinner, but chicken tenders. Okay, what was I going to draw again? Watches. I haven't done watches in a while. Whew, this is going to be. It's going to be interesting. This is one of those situations where. Digital sketching, I think, beats sketching on paper in that if this were a digital sketch, I could make this all symmetric. <laughs> Not have to worry about placement of things. I'm going to do a 2D drawing and then I'll do a 3D um, drawing as well. I saw a very fascinating TikTok last night. Like, I was watching it for a minute. Um, it's this guy who... He doesn't say a word in any of the videos. I probably should have uh, divided this first. I'm just I'm just free f freestyling. Um, but he doesn't say a word in any of the videos. And then he fixes watches. That's what he does like expensive watches like Rolexes and Patek Philippe's and um there goes the knowledge of my my watch brands but he fixes he fixes really expensive watches really like mesmerizing just watching the 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 care and the detail I mean he even had like a tiny lathe like a jeweler's lathe where he would drill holes and he would um so he would drill holes and uh, tap those holes. I don't know if I'm going to put the uh, date dial in this watch when I do it in perspective here. But in any case, um, really fascinating to, to, to watch. No pun intended. I guess there wouldn't be anything there. I'm just going to texture this out. I was thinking maybe this could be some sort of dial, but I'll just texture it out. So yeah, I'll be making the, the music available to patrons and channel members a bit later uh, this week. So stay tuned for that. All right, so this will just be this will just be a little vignette here, and then we'll do real watch business 
off to the side. I'm not even sure how the links look on the watch watches. So I'm just kind of freestyling here as I go. All right, we're just freestyling. So if you're a, if you're a budding orologist and you watch this sketch and you're like completely disgusted by it, my my sincerest apologies for the pain I've caused you today. Sincerely. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> After this, I'm probably gonna make some lunch for my kiddos. They're home today because it's President's Day. So yeah, nice little black and white sketch off to the side here. Super, super quick. Latrice is on that guacamole flow. I like it. Nice. Guacamole is delightful. Did you see that avocado prices are about to spike? Like through the roof. Did y'all see that? about to be wild i think that there was some issue with um a mexican government no an american government official in mexico related to agriculture that was threatened by the cartels in michoacan i think or sinaloa please do not come after me by the way um and anyhow the u.s like i think they 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 said they we're gonna stop importing avocados and so now there's like this this it's backlog. Really fascinating stuff. Really fascinating stuff. <clears throat> Alright, so let's do our perspective sketch here. Now I'm not I'm not doing an under sketch here. We're just going for it. Keeping it, keeping it loose, loosey goosey. All right, let's put our magnifying on there. I'll keep it. But yeah, I, I wish I could um, point you to the TikTok, but. TikTok is like, a, it's a really weird platform because in some ways, ah, how do I say this? There's, there's clearly some underlying organization to the whole thing, but I'm not aware of it. And these designs are going to be different left to right, but don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone what I just told you. Maybe you can spot the error. The error of my ways. Maybe you will spot it. Um, it's a really weird platform because there's like, there's definite under underlying structure, but you can't navigate it like you would navigate something like Instagram and like type something in and search and you're there and go back and like know how to get to the next thing. You just kind of like present with information. I know TikTok has search. I am aware what I'm saying is that it's not like browsing a website or other modern app and being able to like go back or it's like, oh, now I'm in this group, you know, and, and the, the language is different too. Anyhow, I do have a TikTok account. I'm still trying to decide, okay, how do I... Oh my gosh, I totally forgot to record this. <laughs> well, too bad. Um... It's like, how do I navigate? What was I gonna say? No, no, no. How do I create content related to drawing in the way that I do it, in a way that people want to consume it? It's really, it's really been an interesting thing. I think um, I'm definitely late to the party in the sense that you know, there's people drawing on TikTok already, but I don't want to just do the same thing. It's like, why? Why would I want to do the same thing anyways? 
So I'm still trying to figure that one out. All right, since someone called me out years ago for my watch sketches not being in perspective, I'm gonna do a little thing here. Just to make sure all my lines <laughs> are reasonably consistent. They're not perfect, but someone in the comments when I post this on Instagram today, I guarantee is gonna be like, that sketch is out of perspective. I'll be like, thank you. Thank you for pointing that out. Man, you guys, <laughs> uh, for a while, um, being online would depress me because the comments were so terrible. I mean, not that I was like perfect or anything. I get it. And I get that they came from a place of wanting to correct me and what I was doing. But some of the comments, man, like I've said this before, but the racial slurs and things people would say were just ooh, it was a lot back in the day i'm not saying on behance or youtube now but back in the day on youtube it was it was a wild i'm not gonna even like figure out the closure i'm just gonna put some random thing here i could look up a picture and get a better idea of what what this closure looks like i'm just we're just faking this in for now. So the challenge this week is jewelry. You could do a watch. You could do rings. It's about pride. It's about power. <laughs> I caught my son um, rapping along to that the other day. I was like, what? <laughs> it's about pride. It's about power. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Brother Rock. Brother Rock. The Rock rapping. It's about pride. It's about power. All right. So now we got to do the inside of the watch here. The face. All right. Got this little texture thing that I had thrown in. Just light sketching. I like this pen particularly because it does such a good job of being responsive to pressure and also so it's it so in other words I can I can get a nice um, thick to thin I can get a nice thick to thin line but also um, It plays nicely with, with markers. So I like that about it. Do you want your money back? Yes or no? This link is totally the wrong size too, but I'm just gonna roll with it. And you don't have to use markers for your um you know, sketch town sketch if you don't want to. I guess I've been using gray, so let's let's make this a gold watch. That'll be fun. I haven't done that in a while. I think the last gold brass thing I did was either a harmonica or um, saxophone, if I if I believe. Good night to you too, Prakar. It's morning here though. You have an avocado tree at home. That's nice. Man, I grew up with so many avocados and I didn't realize how delicious and delightful they were until years later. We had the biggest, like, I, I, I kid you not, they were like this big on the tree. So good. We had banana trees. We had, a, we had this mango tree. We called it the head mango tree. And it would produce mangoes that as the name implies, we're the size of a human head. <clears throat> so it was the head mango tree. All right, so lighting, I'm going to do top. I'll 
do the top here. Make some mistakes. Meaning my light source is coming from the top to the left is what I'm what I'm trying to say. So I'm thinking of my light coming this way, which means I'm gonna have some shadowing on the inside. I guess I could do blue on the inside or something. That could be interesting too. <laughs> yeah, they they were so big. They were the biggest mangoes. The biggest mangoes. All right, so let's let's use this yellow twenty six. I like its vibe. All right, so same thing that we did with, you know, the toaster and this ice cream scoop. I'm going to be doing here. Let me move this because my camera thinks. There we go. My camera thought that I wanted you to focus on the markers. De nada, Alex. Mucho gusto. Para encontrarle. Um, yes, bravo. I just caught the focus. All right, so I'm going to start with this yellow, leaving some spots white here on the inside. I'll leave the portion that's closest to the light. I'll leave light. And then as we round here, this will be in shadow. Um, with your markers, you want to do lightest lights to darkest darks. All right, so notice everything that's closer to the light, I am making that either white in anticipation of what's going to happen or just filling it in with my lightest yellow that I have here. All right. I'm going to fudge this area. I like telling you what I do because sometimes you look at a drawing and you think, oh, man, that's so good. It's so perfect. But um, in product design, particularly, like my goal is not to always be exacting and precise to things, but rather um, create the impression of something. Okay, and if I can uh, reliably create an impression that makes you think, "Oh, this is a gold watch. Wow, that's really cool," and it's not, "Hey, this is a very detailed sketch of." A gold watch look at how precise the links are that's fine with me I don't I don't need to sell you on the links I'm selling the idea we can we can talk about the links later is what I'm saying when it comes to product design so knowing what to sketch how to sketch it when to sketch it is an important skill that you develop over time now with Copic markers if you're gonna be using marker Pay attention to the number on your markers. This is a Y28 marker. I don't even have to test it because I know it's going to be in the same color family as my other markers. How do I know? How do you know that, Spencer? Well, one experience, but two, check out my marker guide on my website to sketchaday.com and. Uh, I'm gonna give myself a give myself a little pluggy plug here. <laughs> and now a word from our sponsor, Spencer. <laughs> so if you go to sketchaday.com, I'll hide my bookmarks. Um, you're presented with a bunch of options here. There's a digital guide. So if you like digital sketching, you can check that out. Pen and ink guide or marker guide. Click on the marker guide and it'll have information about the PDF. It's a PDF download. Um there's this demo, so if you want to know how to color a car, for example, that demo is in there. I'll talk about some reflections, uh, materials as well, how to blend colors. There's our helpful little octopus and some information about colors and markers and whatnot. All right. So you can check that out. But in addition to that, if you, even if you don't want to pick something up in the store, you can check out the video list. All of these videos are free. So it's a way for me to kind of collect and put together all the stuff that's on youtube that youtube search engine will not surface to the top so if you're curious about something you can just look through this page and it's like oh shoot i've always wondered how to draw um let's see let me pick pick an interesting one i've always wanted to draw a 
a shoe a platform shoe let's see what that is let's see what that looks like cool well it'll jump you to one of my former or post whatever older live streams and you can see me draw the shoe all right using procreate so if you're curious about stuff it's a great way to do it sketchday.com slash videos check out the store um, i pointed some of you to resources so if i go to sketchaday.com slash stuff <clears throat> here's the link to all the stuff i use so you can learn about the markers someone had asked about paper there's even studio gear you can check out digital tools and so forth uh, if i click on that we'll talk about different types of markers right um the marker guide goes a bit more in depth but just want to point that out show it to you and let you know that that is absolutely available on the website if you're looking for additional information all right so back to our regularly scheduled programming rendering our watch all right so i've used two yellows one's a yellow 26 one's a yellow 28 i don't think i have a 20 oh no i do have a yellow 23 fascinating but it doesn't look doesn't look very yellowish All right, so I'm gonna use some blue now. And I just picked up this random Bianyo marker that's blue, but I want the inside of the casing here to be blue, so I'll have that. And then maybe on the outside, just this little area here around our watch. You can have some of that blue as well. Kinda cool color combination once that's dry let's hit it again kind of cool feels feels regal that's what it feels like hey timothy thank you appreciate the sub um so I've got my light here, and I, I did make a little mistake, but what I need is is a little bit of, of a highlight. Okay, so I'll just shade in the watch casing here with like a warm gray and leave this highlight out. I'm not gonna worry too much about that. I can actually use, I think. This is what, this is what my head is saying. My head is like, don't worry about it, brother. You can just use some white pen to fix that. I'm like, okay, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. <clears throat> so, you know, if if, if you want to get more detailed, you can put your screws in or whatever logo stuff. Um, I'm just saying this is a concept sketch, so it's not meant to be representative of a final product. I don't sit and do illustrations for hours and hours at a time for the most part, unless someone's paying me tons of money, then I'll sit there and do that thing. So I am capable, I just don't like to do it, unless someone's paying me. Because if someone were paying me for this sketch, what I would probably do is do like two overlays before committing to doing any sort of marker work at all. <clears throat> and I would be a bit more fastidious and careful about the details in the sketch. All right, but it's enough to communicate an idea. Cool. It is what it is. <clears throat> um, let's see. Much love to you, Faiz. We have a little troll that joined in. Um, happens, happens all the time. You just gotta, you just gotta know when to put your hater blockers on, and just move on. <laughs> mm, people are funny. 
Thank you, Ines. All right, so this is a different color. This is E87 in Copic. Um, and when I work with yellow, I typically jump into my browns. Um, you know, in this case, more of a yellow brown. But that's gonna help with being able to get those nice little contrast bits that I need to either show shininess or reflections or whatever. <laughs> Hello, Alpha Pup. How to draw faces. I do have that on my videos list. You can always check that out. Sketchaday.com slash videos. So yeah, glad to have all you new peeps here. Here's a, here's a tip for you, if you feel, in, feel inclined to be a troll, I would highly suggest you join the Discord and then post some of your own work before you start trolling other people. That's what I would do, but maybe you just like messing with people, which is totally fine too, I guess. I just wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> uh, the internet is such a fascinating place. Unicron from uh, the old Transformers when I see your name. Umacorn. Alright, I said I think I can fix that with some white markers, so let's do it. Let's do it. I just want this to feel more like some sort of reflection. So the nice thing about a white pen or marker is you can, if you're careful, apply it in some apply it in some delightful ways that'll help your your drawing pop. Of course you don't want to overdo that. If you can help it. But in this case, you know, here it kind of fixes the reflection issue on the top of the sketch. Um, yes, these are Posca. I don't know if it's Posca or Polska. I always say Posca or Polska. But <clears throat> super handy. Um, some of my favorite white markers. They're not always the best. But you've got to kind of play and experiment a bit. Find what works for you. Let's add some style dots. Oh, I forgot my stamp. Let's stamp our stuff and then we'll wrap up the show here. Stamp provided by the wonderful, a wonderful friend of mine, Lisa. Childhood, kind of childhood friend, not really. Her and her family are from Jamaica. Well, she's not from Jamaica, but husband is. And uh, yeah right sketch every damn day boom oh 
Hello, Sam. Sam Ole Ole Denide? I don't know. I probably butchered your name. Sorry, Sam. It's okay if you don't watch ever again because I butchered your name. I totally understand. If that's the case, you know, I get it. All right. So these sketches, like I said, I will make available on Patreon. When I say make available, I mean like high resolution. So if you want to download them, you can. Um, at least the super high resolution stuff is available on Google Drive. And then other stuff I post on Patreon. You can also get access to brushes and guides as well as a thank you for your support. All right, so today my table is a mess, but the theme for this coming week, jewelry. That's what we're doing. So there's our watch sketch toaster left over from our, our kitchen challenge. All right, there it is without, with, without the glare on top, by the way. You can kind of see. The glare kind of washes it out a little bit. So there it is right there. It's probably the same for this watch. Yeah, a little less glare on. I can't I can't figure out the, the perfect lighting situation yet for streaming in my studio, but I do have an overhead light, so sometimes it projects a bit of or causes there to be glare on sketches. And there is the ice cream scoop. All right. Well, thanks for hanging out. Um, if you enjoyed the stream, definitely leave a comment on the video. That actually helps youtube think that you enjoyed it or if you hated it too you can leave a comment if you're like faiz um you can post a, a hateful comment that's fine too i appreciate those because i won't read it but youtube will be like yeah there's some contention here let's go um <laughs> i used to care a lot about what haters say but i really don't so i just don't need it in my chat uh, but you're welcome to comment on the post itself. Um, give a subscribe, all that stuff. Any advice for streaming on YouTube? Um, I'm still trying to figure that out, JR. So if you figure it out, you let me know. You let me know. Is trolling still a thing in 2022? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I was like, really? You're going to come in here? You're coming in hot. All right, let's go. <laughs> People are funny. Um, but I appreciate you watching. I appreciate your comments and hanging out. Thanks, Joseph um, and everyone. Thank you to the patrons and channel members for your continued support each month. If there's anything I can do to make your experience better, definitely let me know. If you're catching the tail end of this and you want to see how I did each of these sketches, be sure to catch the replay. But most importantly, most importantly, if you want to get better at sketching, two things. Do it every day and take a moment to sit with someone, explain your process, teach them something, and that'll force you to break things down, communicate them out, and you'll be better for it in the long run. When I was a student, I hated when people would ask me questions. I hoarded my knowledge like a dragon protecting treasure. And, you know, it's, it's, it's something that I'm not proud of because I, I wonder how much better I would have been had I taken the time to share my knowledge with others. So take that time, take the opportunity, share your stuff, and you won't you won't you won't be worse off for it. Okay? I'll just say that. All right. Much love to you. Happy Monday. Remember the challenge this week is jewelry. So it could be anything from a watch to a ring. Anything you want really. Alright. Take care and have a wonderful Monday, everyone. Bye-bye now. Okay, now that the people on Behance are gone, just kidding. See you later, YouTubers. <laughs>